Hi guys, Ray Cousins here. Uh, this time I wanted to share with you one of my top favorite trading strategy, one that I've constructed about seven years ago and I still use it on a daily basis as part of my uh, you know, ar arsenal of, of strategies. Uh, it is relatively simple, it's not too complex, but it is a smart strategy. So uh, for the next 10 minutes, I'm going to show you exactly how to turn this strategy into a money-making machine. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, this is an hourly chart of the euro dollar. Now, this strategy can be applied on any time scale. You can take it to the one hour chart, you can take it to the daily chart or the weekly chart. It doesn't matter. It just uh, it does it just has to fit your trading style, right? Uh in this particular example, I'm going to show you the one hour chart. This is uh, uh and and there are a few components that you should uh well, get to know. The first one would be the Bullinger bands, all right? The Bullinger bands. That's uh, that's an indicator, and I actually have lots of respect for this indicator because it fulfills a very specific purpose. Now I'm gonna bring it in right here, clicking Bullinger bands, uh, making it uh, keeping it simple, right? Keeping it uh, on the default setup. So uh, just like that, this is the Bullinger band. This is this is how it looks like. It basically kind of covers uh, price action from both sides, creating this dynamic channel. So basically we're going to use three technical elements in this strategy. The first is the Bollinger Bands which sets our boundaries. The second would be trying to chase a key reversal spike that actually stands out uh, outside of that channel, outside of the Bollinger Bands only those will be identified by us as potential uh, opportunities and we're going to add a third element which would be uh, the relative strength index which is another indicator uh, it is an oscillator uh, and that's going to be uh, the technical element that uh, we're going to use for uh, you know the technical divergence trading technique so let's bring in uh, the RSI uh, to, uh, to do that, you go to oscillators right here uh, and you just click relative strength index. I also keep that on the default setup, although I do add this level here, 50. Just make sure you have, you have this level 50 here and uh, there you go, right? This is the RSI right, uh, right on the bottom of your screen here right below the, the chart itself. So we got um, the RSI, right? Its purpose is to identify divergence, right? Technical divergence. So here's a perfect, basically this is where you pull the trigger. When you have all of the technical elements in line. Now, let me remind you, we're looking for a key reversal spike that closed out outside of the channel, outside of the Bullion Bands, combined with a technical divergence. So check out right here on the top, price was forming a high, right? Followed by a higher high. Now that second high was actually uh, sticking out of the Bollinger Bands and closing outside. Take a look, this particular key reversal spike, right? This particular uh, candle that actually closed outside of the setup but, use, uh, but, but showing this long tail with a very short body. So that's exactly the condition we were looking for. But we also gotta have uh, the third technical element which has to be in line which is a negative divergence. Now let me show you the negative divergence we had here, right? Because that was the first high, right? Uh, pretty clear that it was a lower high than the next one. But here we had the same relative high, which was actually higher than the next one. Sorry, lower, obviously, right? So we had a higher high on price, but we had a lower high on the actual relative strength index on the actual indicator. Lower high versus higher high, this is a negative divergence. And right 
from the moment of that key reversal spike here, this is exactly when uh, this is exactly, exactly the right moment to strike. Open a short position, and here's uh, here we have two different tactics to get out. Right, once we enter the trade, once we enter the, in this case a short position, we will we want to place a price target. Right, we want to have a take profit order in place, so we'll know when to exit this particular position. Now, like I said, two tactics we have here. First, you wait for the RSI itself, the indicator, you went for, uh, you, you wait for it to go all the way to 50, to that same 50 level that we put earlier. Once, you know, once the indicator touched base on that 50 level, that's exactly where you want to pull out. All right, that's one tactic. A second tactic would be when price reached the other side, the other boundary of the Bollinger Bands. Once it touch base on the lower boundary here, that's exactly when you close the position. You take profit and you close the position. Now later on, uh, there was nothing. Uh, I mean, there was nothing really uh, grabbing attention until price was on the downside here and made this comeback all the way, right, leaving the spike, creating this nice gear reversal spike. And also standing out outside that band, that, that that channel. However, we did not have a bullish divergence. Right? Take a look. Price made a low and a lower low. On the RSI also we had a low and a lower low. Right? We didn't have a higher low. So since we did not have here a bullish divergence, we could not consider this as a viable opportunity. So this is exactly how uh, our three technical elements come together to form a strategy. All right, so before we move on to our last lesson, lesson number four, uh, it's probably a good time to further introduce myself, tell you a little bit about uh, the journey that brought me here. And that this journey actually started back at 2004 when I started uh, just started trading on a very small account after uh, hearing about it, hearing about uh, trading uh, from a friend. And I was uh, obviously very young at that point. I knew nothing about the markets. Uh, so I just went, on, went for it as, you know, as a rookie and obviously uh, managed to damage that account quite significantly. But then I, know, uh, I realized that uh, it is a journey and uh, there's a lot of uh, work to put in and lots of study to do until uh, until you hit the jackpot so to speak so for a few more years I was pretty much struggling to keep my head above water uh, and at the same time keep studying the market uh, making trade trying to learn from my mistakes and just you know basically uh, improve my trading skills uh, and that went on for some time until a point where I felt comfortable enough I felt confident enough to launch you know to go full-time here to launch a full-scale trading career quit my day job and focus completely on trading the markets that was about five years ago and that time period was very special to me that's where I uh, broke free that's where I you know, got out of the matrix, stepped out of the rat race and went into a completely different lifestyle where I go with my family, I travel the world, I'm going to the, you know, living in the most exotic places and keep doing what I love to do most, which is, you know, trading the markets. So um, I actually build up a nice blueprint to help you uh, and to show you how that can be done, how this lifestyle can be uh, can be achieved, and it's not only about uh, trading your own money, trading your you know trading uh, your own account. Uh, I can show you my blueprint here, which suggests that uh, there are other options and other supplementary activities that could help you achieve that goal. 